A human eye can see around 3,000 stars in the night sky. However, according to astronomers, there are at least 30 billion trillion of them in the universe. So why doesn't the whole sky shine and sparkle then? This strange paradox was solved by famous writer Edgar Allan Poe. Yep, that very guy. He realized that the universe is apparently so enormous that light streaming from its distant corners doesn't have enough time to reach the Earth and illuminate the skies. But there are many other paradoxes and mysteries of the universe that nobody still found coherent answers to yet. In this video, you'll find out what inexplicable things surround us here on Earth. Why are black holes the most useless USB flash drives in the universe? And can we unravel the biggest mysteries of science? It may seem that the Earth's surface is well studied, but that's where the first mysteries lie. For example, this enigmatic substance has repeatedly been found in the British countryside starting from the 13th century. Do you feel like touching it? Locals call this odorless slime star jelly because they believe it comes with meteor showers. The problem here is that no slime could withstand the low temperatures of outer space, and it certainly couldn't survive the heat when hurtling down through the atmosphere. Zoologists assume that this stuff might be frog spawn, yeah, left behind by predators after they feed on frogs. Other explanations suggest decomposing bodies of toads, yeah, or deer sperm, ew. Very little analysis has been done on star jelly to date, and what has been done has failed to find any DNA. Now, take a look at another weird substance. This one is most definitely alive. This is slime mold, which has caused quite a sensation in the scientific world. This unicellular organism is intelligent. Even being a brainless organism, this mold can find the shortest route through a maze to reach a food source, and it can remember the source's location. But what if this creature is just reading and copying the thoughts of researchers who often feel a bit hungry in their labs? If you ask me, this version isn't much worse than all the others we've heard. Some bizarre life forms not only crawl, though, some of them can fly. What inexplicable things happen in our atmosphere? Ancient Greeks used to think that lightning struck across the sky when Zeus was angry. But even they could never come up with a fantasy that could interpret the meaning of these glowing balls that, in sporadic cases, can break through your window during a thunderstorm. Ball lightning. In the mid-18th century, a grapefruit-sized plasma sphere allegedly hit Baltic German physicist Georg Richmann in the head and killed the poor fellow right where he stood. There was a round spot left on his forehead, and his clothes were singed. This occasion was a perfect excuse to find out the whole truth about ball lightning, but it still remains a mystery to scientists. Currently, the most popular and grounded theory was proposed by John Abramson, a physicist from New Zealand. He thinks that when a lightning bolt hits ground containing silicon and iron, the intense heat can vaporize silicon oxide in the dirt. The particles form a glowing ball that's carried aloft by ionized air currents and then burns up above. This largely explains the shape, but such a small explosion is not powerful enough to kill a human. So, the nature of ball lightning continues to be a secret. Same as another atmospheric phenomenon that you can hear but can't see. It sounds like a jet engine or a storm, but nothing like that is anywhere to be seen. This strange bolt from the blue occasionally perplexes people all around the world. It's called a skyquake. And no, it has nothing to do with earthquakes. 
In their attempts to identify the origins of this loud booming, meteorologists finally climbed up into outer space. They concluded that skyquakes are echoes of meteors entering the atmosphere and exploding at high altitudes. And, of course, as soon as we leave the Earth, we'll run to even more mysteries surrounding simple and basic things. Like, for example, the faint young sun paradox. Over billions of years, our sun has been getting brighter and hotter, and therefore it must have been much colder in the distant past. This makes sense, but according to calculations, our young sun was so faint that our home planet should have been a popsicle in its early years, not to mention that there shouldn't have been any oceans, rain, or thunder. Up to present day, none of the many theories have been able to explain where prehistoric Earth got its additional heat from, and this is just one of numerous cosmic mysteries. Can we explain some disturbing things about our solar system? This vast area is one big anomaly. You've seen this space map in my videos many times. Four small terrestrial planets, including Earth, then four gas giants. Other stars, however, don't have their exoplanets arranged in any way similar to this. All the planets revolving around the red dwarf in the TRAPPIST-1 system are the same size, the size of Earth. So why is everything so different here? Actually, the majority of rocky planets we can see around other stars are a few times bigger than the Earth, the so-called super-Earths. What's more, in many systems with a star similar to our Sun, orbits of several planets of this kind are tightly packed in the region where we've only got Mercury instead. The same goes for gas giants. If our solar system were typical, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune would be way closer to each other and the Sun than they are. What's the reason behind this anomaly? Many astronomers say that we just don't have complete maps of other star systems, and that's it. Others believe that the answers lie in the early history of our solar system. Perhaps at the dawn of its existence, greedy Jupiter stormed through the orbits of protoplanets like a tourist through a restaurant at an all-inclusive resort, and so messed everything up. Unfortunately, unless we invent a time machine, I doubt we'll ever learn the truth about the uniqueness of our solar system. But cheer up, we have plenty of mysteries to solve in the present. This is what Saturn's south pole looks like right now. Haters gonna say it's photoshopped, but no. This huge vortex of clouds in the gas giant's atmosphere is indeed hexagon-shaped and could encompass two Earths. And not only does this vortex flatly refuse to be round, like you'd expect, it also weirdly and periodically changes color. Scientists have been trying to solve this puzzle for decades, until in 2010, Harvard researchers replicated this effect in their lab using a regular old bucket of water. Their version suggests that the big vortex at the pole is surrounded by smaller vortexes that, so to say, crush it into a hexagon. And I do really hope there's some colossal waiting pool hidden under those Saturnian clouds. Now, let's move beyond our solar system and check even more distant anomalies. Can we crack the biggest mysteries of the universe? Most astrophysicists are busy trying to find dark matter and dark energy. Let's not disturb them. But there are even more enigmatic things in outer space. For example, millisecond-long bursts of radio waves come from different directions and hit Earth every now and again. They almost never repeat. Just imagine that you're constantly receiving phone calls from unknown numbers, and the person suddenly hangs up and never calls again. So annoying! These bursts of radio energy are so powerful that they cover billions of light years to reach us. Could they be interstellar Wi-Fi signals? Of course, astronomers never take the possibility of aliens surfing the internet seriously. These radio waves are thought to be produced by magnetars, abnormal neutron stars with an extremely powerful magnetic field. Or maybe it's the last scream of a neutron star disappearing inside of a black hole. I really wish we could x-ray a black hole and see all that it has ever devoured and how. 
except it's impossible. We'll never know a black hole's past. After crossing the event horizon, any object or piece of information vanishes from the universe without a trace. As you know, even light can't escape from there. This sounds impossible from the perspective of quantum mechanics, where nothing can be erased forever. And that's how one of the biggest mysteries of the universe that modern physics struggles with appeared. It's called the black hole information paradox. Some people say that its past is encoded in Hawking radiation, escaping particles that try to get away from the event horizon. Others approach the paradox differently and insist that a black hole is a very complex structure that looks like a fuzzball. They also assume that the information trapped in its bowels could resurface somewhere else else in the universe. Either way, a black hole is a terrible USB flash drive. If you want to store your vacation photos there, be prepared to never see them again. But joking aside, if scholars finally manage to solve the black hole information paradox, this may revolutionize the whole physical science and let us invent a universal theory of everything. And maybe it'll answer all the open questions I've mentioned here. What do you think? As for me, the central mystery of science is why we even have to deal with all these big mysteries. We've long known that our lives are clearly a part of something called Stapp's Ironic Paradox, created by John Stapp, a pilot and scientist. It states, the universal aptitude for ineptitude makes any human accomplishment an incredible miracle. Do you agree? By the way, if you want to see how I unravel another huge mystery, check out this video about the only object that survived in a black hole.